Welcome to Life in the 1900s Newspapers. Today, we're in 1904. Like every decade, it had its own slang language. Some were just hilarious. <laughs> Time you hang out with your friend, call him a chuckaboo, a good friend. A giggle mug is someone who's constantly smiling. The word for breasts were Cupid's kettle drums. So be watching. For throughout this video, we will be having more 1900 slang for you. I will be reading the actual words, folks, from the Star and Sentinel newspaper. It was printed in Gettysburg, Pennsylvania and dated June 1, 1904. How about a Rusty Guts? A blunt, rough old fellow. Ooh, she's the jammiest bits of jam. 43,000 smacks a year. If kisses were dollars, Jacob Mertz of Baltimore County, Maryland would make an ordinary trust promoter's bank account look like a wage earner's saving fund. Father, mother, and children counted. There are 16 in the family, and every evening, each of the 16 kisses every other member of the family goodnight. That means 120 kisses exchanged each evening. In one year, the kisses aggregate 43,800. The youngest child is five years. Since he was born, there have been 219,000 kisses. But the evening performance began 30 years ago, when the family was small, and in 30 years, at steady progression, uh, uh, it's a problem for a mathematician. Don't get caught furky tootling. The largest automobile in the world has made its appearance on the streets of Washington and has attracted considerable attention. It is an electric car, 11 feet 4 inches in height and 21 feet long, with seating capacity for 40 persons, and can travel 25 miles from 8 to 10 miles an hour on one charge of the batteries. It was built by the Vehicle Equipment Company of New York. The car is an automobile bus and weighs 9,810 pounds. The seats are reached by a ladder, which is carried in a locker attached to the machine. In this locker is a supply of raincoats, one for each passenger is carried. The controller enables the operator to obtain three speeds ahead and two in reverse. It is steered by a wheel and has double expansion brakes, which act independently on the gears. The motors are in two number. Each rear wheel has its own motor. Well timed. That was a great sermon you preached this morning, said the old deacon, and it was well timed, too. Yes, rejoined the parson with a deep sigh, I noticed that. Notice what? asked the puzzled deacon. That several of the congregation looked at their watches frequently, answered the good man with another deep sigh. <laughs> Center County claims the prize absent-minded man. He went out to his barn to milk a cow, and without thinking, drew his stool up to a mule in the next stall. You know the rest. His wife will do the milking until he recovers. 
He sounds like a real dotty pole. All for the best. Yes, sir. I always have believed Providence does everything for the best. How about that March hurricane? Split the trees to kindling wood, stove length. Well, how about that earthquake? Swallowed the land ten minutes for the sheriff came to put a levy on it. Your grandmother's bonnet is out of style. So are your glasses, unless you wear the Chiron eyeglass. Get me put my wares on. Oh, they look like a bunch of dolly mops. Meanest man. The meanest man in the world has been discovered by a Williamsport girl, says the Hagerstown Mail. He called up on the girl and was entertained in the parlor where somebody, the girl didn't know who, had put a, put a mistletoe on the chandelier, of course, and she stood under it for fully three minutes. Then she thought the man was nearsighted, so she moved away, and later she remarked with a sweet smile and a blush, Somebody has put a piece of mistletoe, and I'm always forgetting about it and stepping under it. Why, do you know I was right under it a few minutes ago? Yes, answered the man. I saw you. I thank you for watching this 1904 newspaper. So to end, I'm going to show you a 1904 movie that uh, is a little bit odd. Let me know what you think of it in the comments.